Welcome back to the shop. Happy New Year. Today, I am going to talk to you about something that's lacking in the Model A world, and I can't wait to share what it is, and I'm going to show you how to possibly fix it. You know how you don't miss something until it's gone? Well, these are getting scarce. Yep, rubber mats for the inside of Model A's. It was brought to my attention just recently that these rubber mats are becoming very scarce. Why? Because Sammy Guthrie over at Arizona Model A's let us know that the guy who is making them, and from what we understand, he's the only one who is making them, decided to retire. So what does that mean for us in the Model A world? We can't easily replace these rubber mats, that's for sure. This one came out of one of the old Model A's. It's got some tattered pieces. See right here? It's got a tears right there. I think there's another one somewhere else. I'm not sure, but yeah, there's some right here. It's cracking. But there's things that we can do to fix these, make them look a lot nicer, and still keep them in the Model A family and beautiful. I'll show you how. Lucky for me, Paul put in an outdoor shower, so this is going to come in perfect. I'm going to use this little scrub brush right there. I'm going to use some of this Mr. Pink very sparingly. I'm going to put a little bit on this mat here and I'm going to give it a good scrubbing, make it nice and clean first. I'm going to turn on the shower, get the mat wet. I bet it's not hot out, it's pretty cool out today, but at least it's not storming anymore. We're going to just pour a little bit of this on here just to get it going. Get her a little scrubby. I'm gonna get it around. Be very careful around the areas where it's already starting to tear or has torn in areas like that one I showed you. Just kind of be nice and careful around and get it to a little ginger. Give them a little love. We want them clean. We don't want them to tear worse, that's for sure. careful with this spot. This is where it's tore. Alright. Doesn't even take very long. Alright. I'll get all the yucky drainies off. <laughs> then we're going to rinse it off really nice, get all that soap off of there. Try to do this without getting all wet. <laughs> it's kind of nice not wearing a jacket right now. All right, going to rinse off that back side. All right, now I'm off to dry it. I'll show you what to do next. Let's get some rubbing alcohol, like isopropyl alcohol, and a rag. You're going to put it in the cracks. So I've dried this mat really well. Now I'm gonna take some of this, get it good and wet, rub it along the seam where it's cracking. And we had another one. I mean, it's supposed to be open here to get around things, but it's cracked through here, right in this spot, and it's cracked on the edge. So we'll get those also. Okay, was there any other ones? I'm pretty sure not. I think it's just that one big crack there in these two spots here to get them strong. Everything else is split apart, has little splits or little notches, just so that it fits around different parts when you go to install it. Next, what we're gonna do is we are gonna use super glue into those cracks and stuff. They have different ones. Here's a liquid, here's a gel, 
We've got the Gorilla kind. So today I am going to use the gel just because I feel like it'll go better. I don't want it to go too far deep and then glue it to the floor. That would suck. I'm going to start with this crack here and there's a small little crack right there. So I'll do those two first. It's kind of nice with this one. It's got these little squeeze things. Once you turn it upside down, you just squeeze the sides and it opens it up. So it makes it really simple. Go along here. Try to get into the cracks. Once I get it in the cracks, put it back up on its end. And I'm going to hold this together. That way it dries in the right spot. I'm just going to hold it here for a moment. Pretty cold today, but it should still dry pretty darn fast. So since it is so cold in here, it's gonna take a while for this to dry, so got the heat gun. This will help things come along really nice. Ooh, the sucker gets hot. Just want it to dry well enough so it's bound together so I can let go of it and have faith that it'll finish drying the rest of the way without coming apart again and having to start from the beginning again. Okay, I feel like it's pretty good and bound, so I'm gonna really quick do the other little spot, see if we can get that going in the right direction. try something this time. I've got this one crack right here that I'm going to be working on next. We'll try getting it warm first and then putting the glue in there. See if it helps with the drying process. I think it's nice too. It's kind of molding the uh, rubber so it's uh, not so hard and puckery. <laughs> See if I can get it to lay down, which will give it a much nicer bond. Just so it doesn't want to be so cracky. Say no to crack. Get it in that crack. Kind of goes all the way this way. Try to stay right on that little seam. Now, try to keep those together. Keep that rubber mat down some. Hope and pray it's not going through to the floor. <laughs> As it dries, I'm gonna keep trying to form it so it gets rid of the puckeriness that had happened from it sitting in a certain way for way too long. So one thing, um, if you find that you need to store your rubber mats or anything else that's rubber that has to do with your Model A, if you're getting ready to install the top of the roof and you're going to use the uh, rubbery type top, don't store it um, laying weird. Try to store it nicely. And that way it doesn't get puckered or cracked, get warps that sit weird, things like that. And that'll help a lot. All right, now we got it under control more. I get that a little hotter. Keep my hair out of the blower. <laughs> See if we can get this to dry a little faster. I think while we're at it, I'll even get some of these other areas. Get these pumps out. It's got little spots here where it's not sitting flat. So I'll get it nice and hot and then press it down and we'll see if we can get it to get molded so it sits flatter and nicer. All right, and I'm gonna hold it here for a minute. Make sure that these uh, crack is lining up nicely. I'm not trying to sit apart like it was before. You have to massage your mat. And now we have got cracks that are holding 
They're not moving around anymore. Very nice, except for where they're supposed to move. These are free for getting stuff together. This one's staying together nicely. Very nice. So what's next? Let's get your rag, get your 303, and protect this rubber. Make it nice and shiny. All right, here we go. Kind of rub it in. It's probably gonna soak it up really good. I love this stuff. Sure you shook it beforehand. And if you do it on the floor like I am right now, make sure you wipe up afterwards. <laughs> that way you don't get slick spots on the floor and go slip and fall. That's no fun. Get one more good shaking. This is going to make such a difference. Make them come back to life and get good use out of them. You can do the back side too, just at least to protect the rubber. It doesn't matter that it's shiny, but it's just for the protection. Even if yours doesn't need repairing, just doing this periodically to the floor mats that you do have in your vehicle will help them to last longer because who knows when we're going to get somebody else who's willing to start another company to make these floor mats. Hopefully we do. That'd be great. But until that happens, we've got to keep these protected so they last a really long time. And just like that, you got a beautiful mat again. So next what I've done is I've taken out these little circle things that were here. We're gonna install this one again off the green. Now here, if you look closely, there is a little rectangular cutout right there. I gotta get that popped out. It goes over the gear stick. And we're gonna put this in there, make it fit. First, what we did is we measured. Let's go see that. Okay, so I measured from the underneath of the seat. It's right up against the wall there. Go to the front of the gear shift right there. And it is like 14 and a half right there. Now what's awesome about this particular floor mat is I didn't end up having to cut any off because it measures from the bottom of that circle to the edge of the mat just slightly under 14 and a half. So it's gonna fit perfectly. If it didn't fit perfectly, it was still too long. Let's say you just cut off very carefully the edge of this so that it fits in the Model A. So that little rectangular part, it's not gonna come out so easy. It's got the little notches and indentations, but we need a knife to get it further out. That's not a knife. All right, here we go ever so carefully. This is taking a moment. We're going to go faster. Oh, I got it out. <laughs> All right, it is time to get this fitting over everything. I'm going to slide this over the top. Find the gear shift. There it is. Oh, where's the... <laughs> It's hard to get around stuff in here. Let's see, where is the break? If I could get to it, it'd be nice. Gravity. It's not very easy. Nope. Let's see, if I hold on to that and push, I almost had it. Oh, I didn't think I got it. Ah. <laughs> you gotta be heart contortionist. So, 
when it comes time to doing this, hopefully either A, you're really flexible, <laughs> or have somebody you know who's really flexible to do this for you. Yeah, maybe get your grandkids over or something. <laughs> something. Okay, so now we got that part there. Get this stuff undone. Come on, baby. Okay. So then. Go around the foot pedals. I'm gonna get around that little doohickey there. And. <sighs> my hair is going in my mouth. It's all right though. So I'm going to go around to there. Hopefully you can see what in the world I'm doing. I go there. And oh my gosh, I think we're almost there. Oh, wow. Woohoo! Okay, and then we're gonna press this inwards, or maybe we'll just kind of maybe go upwards a little. Ugh. Okay, now I can just get this to kind of bow over, go downwards, then I can let it go forward. Yay! Okay, now that I'm all out of breath, I'm going to show you what I did to the floor here and show you what needs to be done next. And here, oh, it looks so nice. It really makes a huge difference. It makes the floorboard look so much nicer. Now we'll be taking this out again after a little bit because the whole flooring needs to be done and finished. It's not done under there yet, but I wanted to put this in so you could see how glorious it looks and how much more rich and fancy it makes it look. Now over here, you'll see it kind of goes over the door. I don't know what you want to call that. I mean, it's not in the way of the door, so that's good. So I could either A, leave it just like that, not care, or they have like little notches. Can you see them? Kind of like that little rectangular part was where you can cut it to the size that you want so it will go over this. So you can see the Ford, which is always nice. I'd rather cut it to where it's flush right here. So that's what we'll be doing. I'm not gonna do it now until we have all the underfloor done, but it fits gorgeous. You know, just a little bit of struggle here and there, and we got it in. If you see those two little holes right there, there's some over there. There is actually these little riveting looking things. We're missing one of them, but there is one right there, if you can see it. It goes over that, and then there's supposed to be one over here, but there's actually just a hole now. So I don't know if there's a way to replace that, but we at least have that one that will be sliding that little hole over. And the same with this over here. And we'll go over that, and then we'll cut that little hole out of there and let it go over that rivet. And then I'll keep it in place much nicer. Okay, so that wraps it up for my flooring. I just had to like enjoy the luxuriousness of it. <laughs> It came out so beautiful. Anyways, coming up next, Paul's gonna be doing his videos on doing the roof of Gandalf, and he's gonna do the front window on Gandalf. It really needs it bad. It's gonna look awesome when that gets done. Until then, take care, stay well, and I love you. Mwah.